What's going on guys? So we got all of our clutch lines ran, our transmission is on, and the slave is in, and now we have to bleed the clutch. Tools we will be using an 8mm open ended box end wrench, so we're going to be cracking and closing the bleed screw. Now that is a 7mm down there because I lost my 8mm, so some brake fluid. Recommended dot four. I have dot three and four. In the future I will be fully rebleeding the entire brake and clutch system with dot four fluid, but we will need brake fluid. Go get some dot four. We're gonna need a bleed bottle. So that's a water bottle with some sprinkler hose on it and I got a little vacuum hose on the end to get that over the bleed screw. And the last thing we're gonna need for this is a friend. So because I'm gonna be underneath the car cracking and closing the bleed screw, I'm gonna have Arthur actually pushing on the clutch pedal to get it to pull fluid in and out. So we basically have to get fluid from the brake reservoir down into this guy, our slave cylinder. So how we do that is we have a little bleeder screw right here. So the bleeder screw on the one that I have in the car is an eight millimeter. I believe this one's a seven, so it is a different size. I would just double check the size of yours before you start working on it. Otherwise, you're basically gonna need to have the correct size. So to catch the fluid, I made this little bottle set up here. So I've got some uh, clear hose running through into the bottle and I've got this little rubber uh, hose. This this is actually an old vacuum hose. I'm pretty sure this is a clear sprinkler hose. So we're gonna fit this guy over the bleeder screw, sort of like that, and he's gonna sort of hang out. And underneath, we're gonna have our wrench on the end of that. And so it's tight. We're gonna crack it, hold it open for a second to let air and fluid out, and then we're gonna close it back off again. So we're basically just gonna be doing this back and forth until a solid stream of fluid is coming out of this guy here. So we don't want any air bubbles in the system, so we're basically gonna bleed it until uh, solid fluid is coming out of here. So I have some dot three, dot four brake fluid that we're gonna be filling this guy up with. So he is actually gonna be pulling fluid from inside this reservoir and I don't want it to run dry. So we're gonna be periodically filling this up to make sure that no air bubbles get down into that system. So to start, pull that out and we are going to top him off. So down on the pedal side, we're gonna be messing with the clutch pedal. So this is actually gonna be Arthur's job while I'm down there cracking the bleed screw. So he's gonna push it in, out, in, out, in, and then he's gonna hold it. I'm gonna crack the bleed screw, wait a couple seconds for the air to get out. I'm gonna close it back up, and then he's gonna come back out and do that again. One, two, three, and then hold. I'm gonna crack it again and then close it and then we're just going to repeat that same process until fluid is coming all the way out and then once a solid stream of fluid is coming out of that um, the bleeder bottle I'm going to close that up and hopefully the clutch will be done when we're getting close to finish uh, this won't retract like that this will actually have pressure back on it and so then it'll just be basically acting like a clutch so towards the end Arthur might actually have to be in here with his foot pushing on this thing because I don't know if he's going to be able to do it by hand so that's his job, he's gonna be manning that, and it's kind of a team effort, so we gotta coordinate, so we're gonna be talking back and forth, you know, I'm gonna tell him to pump it, and he's gonna tell me when he's holding, and then I'm gonna crack it, all that sort of stuff. All right, so this is the slave cylinder right here. Now at the top of that, there's this little rubber thing that's covering the bleed screw, so we're gonna pop that rubber thing off. That right there is our bleed screw. Now I know it's kind of hard to see because the light focus is on the transmission and on the underside, but it's right there. So that is our bleed screw right there. I've got my eight millimeter here. So I'm gonna take my wrench, put it on there, crack that guy loose like that. And then fluid is going to drain out and then I'm gonna close it back up. And so that's basically all I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to get my bleed bottle on here. There we go. So that guy is on there. So when this starts filling up with clear fluid and there's no air bubbles in it, then we're going to call it. I'm going to shut it off for one good time and then we're going to see how the clutch pedal actually feels. So because the camera is in my way uh, on doing this, I'm actually going to move it and you guys are going to be a little bit back away from this, but you can basically hear how we're going to be communicating how we're going to get this done. Go. Holding. Cracking. Closing. Oh, I can feel it coming. Holding. Cracking. Oh, I got some fluid here. All right, closing. Holding. Cracking. I'm getting some pressure. Cracking. Well, oh, that came through. All right. 
closing. Pump it. Holding. Cracking. Closing. I gotta use my feet now. Oh, yeah. Holding. Cracking. Closing. Alright, push it. How does it feel? It feels good, it's just not returning. Is that coming back? Yeah, I gotta kinda use my foot to like bring it back, but I mean, yeah. there's pressure at the back. We're getting close. We're not there yet, we're close. Nope, now it's coming back. I still got an airline. Alright, hold it. Closing. Uh, check the master right now. Um, yeah, add some more fluid in there and just. Yeah, let me, uh, it's coming back on its own now. Alright, go down and hold it one more time. Yep. Crack. Close. Oh, that's solid fluid. Alright, how does it feel? It's solid. Alright, hold on. Ooh, I can hear it doing the clutch. Alright, so we've bled it to the point where it feels solid and it feels like a clutch pedal now. So I'm going to make sure that my bleeder screw is nice and tight, which it is. I got a little paper towel here. We're going to pop the end of that off just to catch any extra brake fluid that comes out. I'm going to wipe that guy off and we're going to put the little rubber bleed screw cap back on and that is it, the clutch is bled. Okay, so now from here our clutch pedal is a clutch pedal. So, it's going to act just like a clutch pedal. It shouldn't have any dead spots in it and it shouldn't sit at the bottom of the stroke. So like about halfway when we were doing it, it had pressure down here, but it would still stay down there. So it just needs to be bled more until it's basically just like a normal clutch pedal. So you push it all the way down, and it'll push back out. And once that's done, make sure you still have enough fluid that it is at the max on the brake reservoir, and you guys are good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I will see you guys later.